Okay, so how many of you guys think that you would be able to do someone's hair like this without any guide whatsoever? That's pretty impressive. <laughs> Anyone else? Anyone think they could do that? Because I know I couldn't. So today, consider that I'm going to be your guide, your braiding guide. I'm going to teach you guys how to braid. But don't worry, we're not going to get this complicated today. We're going to start off very simple. So most girls, you probably know how to braid. You have the concept of braiding. But guys, you might be a little bit iffy about the idea. But just think, you might have a sister or a girlfriend or someone who wants their hair braided. So it's very important to listen to this. Um, as you can see, I have my hair braided, and I also have two younger sisters who like for me to braid their hair, and I also braid my friend's hair. So I want to share my knowledge with you guys. So today I'm going to be talking about a bit about the braid or the origin of the braiding, the materials needed when braiding, and then I'm going to demonstrate how to braid hair. So first, a bit about the braid. Braiding originated in African tribes about 28,000 to 25,000 BCE. However, it cannot be proven who the first person was to have their hair braided because there's no proof to if the person had just a basket on their head that had weaves that appear to look like a braid or if there was actually hair braided. But it is proven that braiding did originate in African tribes about 28,000 to 25,000 BCE. Um, the cool thing about braiding was that it was used as a way of communication. Um, the way your hair was braided could um, show your political status, your religious, your marital status, or um, what tribe you were in. So people were able to communicate with each other and understand what tribes they were in just based on how their hair was styled. So now that I've told you a bit about the braid, I'm going to move on and I'm going to explain the materials needed for braiding and how to braid different styles of hair. So braiding only requires three simple things. A hairbrush, hair tie, which I have on here, and hair. So now that you know the materials, you think, oh, I'm ready to start braiding. However, it's important to understand the differences in types of hair before you start braiding. For example, braiding African-American hair is different from braiding Caucasian hair and braiding Asian-American hair. Um, in this picture, she has a style, and also with African-American hair, you can you do cornrows, which are like small braids, and the cool thing about that is they're able to stay in place without a hair tie. So that's one difference in um, braiding. And when braiding Asian-American hair, it's very similar to braiding. Um, Caucasian hair just um, it can also be very very thick so you have to make sure that you're holding it tight but with any um, type of hair you have to make sure um, that it's very tight and that you're braiding it very appropriately and that you also detangleize it before you start braiding because it can get uh, messy so make sure you wash out your hair and you brush it out so now that I've told you about the materials and getting ready and I've also mentioned a bit about the history of the braid I'm going to demonstrate how to actually braid so, let's pray. Um, I'm going to need a volunteer. Let's go here. Madison, will you come up here and be my volunteer? Thank you. You want to need to do it, Zach? Maybe next time. Madison, you want to turn that light on? Yeah. Okay. So, braiding doesn't require a lot of work, but first you're just going to start by brushing out the hair. And according to a New York Times parent, is important. It's just similar to braid, tying shoelaces. So if you can relate braiding back to something that you already have a concept of, it will be easier when braiding. Um, so first, I'm going to divide the hair into three sections, approximately equal sections. Like this. Can you guys see? Okay. Um, and according to Times Incorporated, which is one of the largest branded media companies in the world, it is important to make sure that you're pulling the hair tight as you go so it will be smooth and that it won't fall out. So just keep that in mind while I'm braiding. So to begin, you're going to take this rightmost piece and you're going to cross it over to the center. Now this is the new center piece and this becomes the new right piece. Then you're going to take the left piece, cross it over to center, making that the new center piece. This becomes the left piece and this is still the right piece. So all you're going to do is you're going to continue to cross over the right and left pieces and so that it will change every time you have a new center piece. So you're just going to continue taking the right and left most pieces and see how I kept it tight and pulled her hair tight so that it won't fall out as you go. You take that down there for me. I don't want to lose the break. Thank you. And then you're just going to tie it off. And then you have a simple braid. This is the most simple type of braiding. So there you go. Can we give a round of applause for <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, so today I told you guys a bit about the origin of braiding hair. I also told you about the materials needed and how to braid hair. Um, so now that you know how to braid, you can braid your friends, your sisters, your girlfriends, your boyfriends, whoever's hair you want to braid, with their permission. Um, so I challenge you guys to learn about different types of hairstyles and how they have affected cultures or um, if they're still in effect today. Thank you.